Hola, Ursula here from Simply Cuba Tours today with a few ideas on how you can travel plastic free. And the reason why I'm bringing you these um, ideas and tips is two things. It's one, it's not only you can use these tips while you're traveling, you can actually introduce them for yourself at home, but also because we are focusing on nature. It is, you know, our focus on uh, conserving nature, preserving nature and, and ignite a love of nature and the love of looking after it and preserving it to the next generation, into our travelers, into our children, into the next generation so we can actually create a legacy, we can make this world a better place. So what are the tips that I am bringing to you today? One that I have mentioned many a times before is please bring your own water bottles. Say no to buying plastic water, plastic bottles of water. Now I know it might not sound much and you might be wondering about the water supply, but I promise you that we will provide you with safe water to drink whilst you're traveling in Cuba. And just imagine if there is you yourself and thousands of others saying no to plastic water bottle, how much less plastic waste will make it in, will make its way into the waterway, will make its way into nature, how much we can save the planet through this. The other thing you can do is say no to plastic bags and I don't just mean the plastic shopping bags which of course these days you can reuse. In fact some countries like Australia have um, introduced it that you need to bring your own plastic bags or need to bring your own bags while you're shopping so you not actually getting a single use plastic bag that you then throwing away and but I also don't just mean the plastic bag you get for shopping I also mean plastic packaging if and when possible choose other sort of packaging or instead of buying single use snacks use um, buy bulk snacks that you can then separate into your own serving sizes. Um, you can also change your toothbrush from a plastic, plastic toothbrush to a bamboo toothbrush which is biodegradable and so much better for nature. The other thing that I have mentioned previously is don't buy the travel packs of toiletries. You might not use a big bottle of the toiletries that you, you know, your shampoo or your soap or whatever, but trust me, if you leave it behind, it will be appreciated. So buy the full size and if you don't want to carry it home, just leave it behind. Uh, I also say no to chewing gum. This is something that Singapore has done amazingly. They have banned chewing gum because there is a whole lot of wrappers that go with it. Each chewing gum generally is packed separately within a package, which is also then in plastic packages. But also chewing gum wastage is just absolutely gross. Like just seeing it on the footpath, seeing it stuck to tables and stuff like that. It is gross, it is disgusting. And basically chewing gum is plastic itself. So just don't do that. And say no to plastic straws. It is really good to see that some areas are now bringing out bamboo straws, but with the large number of them being used, that is not that much better either. So the best thing to do is just say no to straws altogether where possible. I really hope that these tips help you, help you prepare with your um, preparation for when you're packing and also maybe help you create some new habits at home, create some more mindful packet, uh, mindful practices with your choices around plastic and reducing plastic waste. Speak to you soon.